Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Children, you remember the last time we did the definition and the examples of what a sentence is and what is the difference between a phrase and clause. Today, I am going to go one step ahead and detail to describe kinds of phrases. Start kar diya tha kya? Nahi kar raha. You remember when we are, we were discussing sentence, we defined it as a group of words that contains a subject and predicate and makes complete sense by itself. This was a sentence. We talked about a phrase. We again described it as a group of words. But in this particular definition, we cleared it that these group of words do not contain a subject and a verb and does not make a complete sense by itself. So this is a phrase. Whereas the last thing that we discussed was a clause that again is a group of words which contains a subject and a predicate and is part of a sentence. So this is a clause. A phrase does not make complete sense. A clause, group of words that make a part of sentence. Whereas a sentence, a group of words put together having a subject and a predicate and gives us a complete meaning. Today we will focus on the kinds of phrase. Phrases. Children are target today is kinds of phrases. When some words work together as a unit but do not contain a finite verb, they are known as a phrase. In other words, a phrase is a group of words that does not contain a subject and a predicate. Remember that we shall refer to finite verb simply as verb. We are not going to make it a complicated explanation. Just we will mention verb, finite verb as verb. We shall now look at three different kinds of phrases. Number one, adjective phrases. Number two, adverb phrases. And the third one, noun phrases. What is the difference? These are all phrases. That means which does not give a complete sense. But when a phrase is describing something, we we'll call it as adjective phrase. Or a group of word, words put together to act as an adjective, then we will say it is an adjective phrase. When it words put together, all the words put together, define the verb, they add to the verb, then it is a adverb phrase. And last of all, when the phrase acts like a noun, it will be known as noun phrase. Let's start with the first type of phrase, adjective phrases. Definition a phrase which does the work of an adjective is an adjective phrase. The books on the shelves are for sale. We saw a bird with beautiful feathers. Now look up at sentence number A. The group of words on the shelves 
does not contain any verb. Secondly, the group as a whole describes the noun books. But the phrase does not contain any verb. Which books? Books on the shelf. The ones that are on the shelf. So this group of words is a phrase and does the work of an adjective. Because it is describing the books. Which books? The ones on the shelves. It is therefore an adjective phrase. Note, however, that the phrase is made up of on preposition plus the definite article the plus shelves noun. Similarly, in sentence number two, which is B, with beautiful feathers is a phrase. And it describes the noun bird. Which bird? The bird with beautiful feathers. So, it is an adjective phrase. It is made up of with preposition plus beautiful adjective plus feathers noun. So, we can say that it does not matter what kind of words the phrase is made up of. What matters is the work it does as a whole, as a unit, in a clause or a sentence. What is the work, the job of the phrase, whether it be in a uh, a sentence or in a clause. It doesn't make any difference. What is important is what work does it do? As you have already seen that the ing form of verb may act as an adjective and can be used in a phrase. Have you seen a flying fish? Now, this is actually an ing word. Verb looks like a verb, but it is being used as an adjective. The eagle flying high up in the sky, it's a phrase, but describing which, what thing? The eagle. Which eagle? The one flying high up in the sky. Looked down at the cattle grazing below. In C, flying has been used on its own as an adjective to qualify the noun fish. What kind of fish? Flying fish. However, in, sec in uh, sentence D, flying has been used with five other words high up in the sky to qualify a noun eagle to define this eagle which eagle the one flying high up in the sky we are using five words but they are being used as adjective to define the eagle so the six words flying high up in the sky act together as a unit, that is, as a phrase, to qualify the noun eagle. Flying form of fly plus high adverb degree plus up adverb of place plus in preposition plus the article, definite article plus sky which is a noun. Similarly, grazing below is an adjective phrase that qualifies the noun cattle. Grazing ing form of grace plus below adverb of place. 
we have to be on very cautious and the author is giving us a warning when you come across the ing form of verb you must try to find out whether it is acting as an adjective or as a main verb with the aid of a helping verb remember that ing form cannot act as a main verb without another verb to help it this is the only thing that we must remember ing form of the verb cannot be used as a main verb it has to have a helping verb the girl was picking flowers the girl picking flowers is my sister helping verb is there in e picking has been used with the helping verb was to form the past continuous tense of the verb pick in sentence number f picking has been used on its own that is there is no helping verb so it is not a verb it has been used as an adjective to qualify the noun girl children are all this example of adjective phrase clear to you let's now define adverb phrases it is i am sure now will be much easier for you to understand because those words that we were using they were being used as adjectives so we call them adjective phrases but this time the sentences the examples that we are going to give you will be used as adverbs so that phrase will be called as an adverb phrase a phrase which does the work of an adverb is an adverb phrase let's look up at the sentence g talha followed the doctor's advice with utmost care h the play will begin in about an hour <clears throat> you can get this book in all the bookshops jim will succeed because of his perseverance if possible let me have two tickets please look up at sentence g with utmost care how he followed the advice a verb but how did he follow the advice we are defining the verb we are adding further to inform about the verb so this phrase with utmost care it's not giving us a complete meaning but this phrase will be called an adverb phrase because it tells us how he followed the advice next sentence the play in about an hour again another phrase in about an hour which also does not have a subject and a verb tells us when the play will begin so in about an hour is an adverb phrase when will the action take place in about an hour in sentence i you can get this book in all the shops in i all the book shops a phrase does not contain a subject and a verb it tells us where the book is available and so it is an adverb phrase now sentence j because of his perseverance 
he succeeded. Jim succeeded. The verb here. But how? The reason? Because of his preservance. Does not contain a subject and a predicate. It gives the reason why Jim will succeed. So it is an adverb phrase giving us the reason. And in the last sentence, if possible. If possible is an adverb phrase. If possible, let me know, let me have two tickets, please. Whether something can be done depends. That is conditional. Because the sentence is starting with the word if. So it is an adverb phrase. That is conditional on something else. That is whether tickets can be given. Depends on whether tickets are available. Subject to it. Subject to the availability. Last of all, the noun phrase. A phrase which does the work of a noun is a noun phrase. Remember that only a noun or a word or group of words acting on a children. Now we come to the third type of phrases that are a noun phrase. A phrase which does the work of a noun is a noun phrase. Remember that only a noun or a word or group of words acting like a noun can be the subject or object of a verb. So, a phrase which is the subject or object of a verb is a noun phrase. Remember that a noun phrase like a noun can be the object of a preposition also. Let's begin with the examples given over here. Eating junk food is not good for health. <coughs> Eating junk food is given giving the giving the sense of a name of an act. What? Eating junk food. A habit. Is not good for health. Eating junk food does not contain a subject and a verb. So it is a phrase. It is the subject of the verb is. It is therefore a noun phrase. What is not good for health? Eating junk food. This is a name given to a certain habit. Example number two. Ayan enjoys playing chess. What does Ayan enjoy? Playing chess. Subject and a predicate. Ayan, subject, enjoys playing chess is the predicate. It is a phrase acting like a noun or a noun phrase. The last example given to us, num uh, N, <clears throat> mother made a cake with lots of chocolate and cream. In this sentence, lots of chocolate and cream is a noun phrase and the object of the preposition with I hope, children, that all the three types, kinds of phrases are clear to you. Whenever a phrase acts as an adjective, works like an adjective, it is an adjective phrase. Then it works like an adverb, it is an adverb phrase. And last of all, when it acts like a noun, it is known as a noun phrase. Now, I'll give you the written work, which you are going to do it carefully. First of all, you write down the definition 
and then of all the three types and then do the exercises given to you.